moment as he wow. finally is able to exhale, right? This fight happened this fight. in October. You know, his father passed in the summer, and he went right into this. It was a distraction, but now he gets to let it all out. Just seeing what... What grace is about, what respect is. Um, Habib fought Justin uh, Keiichi, and he tap made him tap out. He submitted him, and this is the true essence of resistance. Khabib's father passed away earlier this year, which was very tragic to him. Um, he was definitely a huge part of Khabib's life. And Khabib himself knew what it was like to train with the burden of a, lo a loved one. And he had a job to do. And he did that job. 29-0, best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the UFC, hands down. Khabib. Norga Madoff takes on Justin uh, Gaethje. Very good fight. And UFC 254 was lit. Um, Khabib, I empathize with Khabib. I haven't lost a father, no. But I lost my mother and I know how it's a distraction and you have to take your hat off to Khabib. Why? Because unlike Khabib, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't focus on anything, not my career, not anything else. I had to detach from everything. This guy was still able to train despite what was going on in his life. That's true resistance, true resistance. And he was more or less fighting for his father in this, but he was fighting more than Justin in there. He was fighting the burden of losing his father. It's something that you can never get over. It's something that won't go away. It's like the ocean. It comes and goes. And he was able to release that today and celebrate a, celebrate a victory, but it goes hand in hand with sorrow and heartbreak because this fight here it might seem like tears of joy but at the same time running at the same pace tears of tragedy and because of that Khabib states he will never do it again and I think what happened in this fight he's seen what it's like to fight with two different demons two different obstacles so to speak a death of a close loved one and the opposition of somebody that was an underdog, that was driven, that was motivated to fight him. And I think that he doesn't want to taste that right now. He says he's retiring. He could retire and never come back, but I think he will. I think he just needs time, just like I needed time. Like a lot of people need time when something like that happens. You can't just jump back on the bandwagon and expect to feel 100%. Even with a victory like he has, do you see him? He was broken down. He was hurting. He was crying. And I don't think those were tears of joy. I think those were tears of, of, of pain because he know it reminded him of what happened. He had to cut training for this and then reintroduce himself back into training on top of winning. Sure, so there's a slight sense of accomplishment there, but then I think there's more sorrow too. And because of that, um, Khabib, has decided to retire. I don't blame him. And look, and again, I don't see how he did that now. I wouldn't have came back. I would have retired then. But I think now he knows and we know that Khabib is more powerful in faith and dedication than a lot of people, including myself, will ever know. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Khabib Nor Norgamadoff tapping out um, Justin Keiichi and saying that he's going to retire from the sport of the UFC. But anyway, tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.